tonight, we ride with an experienced rail crew from Sydney to Carlisle. During our ride, we found that cars drove around the safety gates at about, the ha at about half the 24 guarded crossings on that stretch, and railmen call that typical. Glenn Hundley began his career as a railroad engineer more than 30 years ago. At one point, he was promoted to supervisor, but he gave up that higher-paying job to get back behind the locomotive. But sometimes, Hundley might wish he were still behind the desk. From his perch in the locomotive, you can see just how many people play railroad roulette. Uh, at least once every trip. At least somewhere between uh, Cincinnati and Lima, we'll have uh, what I would consider a fairly close call. On this southbound trip, Huntley first worries when he reaches Troy. The sharp curve takes him to a crossing he can't see until he's almost there. Rural crossings in southern Miami County can be tricky. We get an even better glimpse of how tough an engineer's job can be when we reach Tip City at its five crossings over just a three-quarter mile stretch. Here we focus on the car on the right. It looks like it might try to beat the train to the upcoming crossing. But the risk taker comes from the left. When trains pass through downtown Dayton, by law, they slow down to 10 miles per hour. Good thing, because many drivers in this city often throw caution to the wind. Most city crossings have gates that drop when the train approaches, and many impatient drivers trying to beat the train. And that sure lulls the other people into yeah. false sense of security when they see a car crossing like that. Uh, you as the uh, first person at a stop should respect the uh, warning signs, because if you violate them, the people behind you might violate them, and they might not be as lucky as you are. Most of the time, railroad roulette players live to gamble at crossings another day. Uh, the frustrated engineer can only watch helplessly, piloting the freight train to its destination. Yeah, I get mad. I get mad at him, and uh, I'll shake my finger at him when I go by if they can see me. If that does any good, I don't know. <laughs> It probably doesn't. Huntley says he tries from his high vantage point to look inside the cars that narrowly miss the front of the oncoming train. And Jackie tells us what he sees very often is a child in the back seat, an infant in a passenger seat, and a parent just carelessly laughing as they drive on by after just barely escaping a collision with a train.